Well, you know Paddy Lowe from his massive success in Formula One, initially at Williams, where he ran the active program on the 14B, subsequently at McLaren and Mercedes, where he won a string of races and championships, and then went back to Williams. Didn't work out the last time around. Um, I don't think Williams got the best from him by any means, but he's still brilliantly active in every department. And his latest project is Zero Petroleum. Now, Zero Petroleum is, you know, it's quite a complicated subject, but it's very relevant today because of the future of Formula One, the sport we all love and where it's going to go. There are obviously a lot of restraints going to be placed on going out and watching guys thrash cars around on Sunday afternoons, burning rubber, burning fuel in the future. And Formula One obviously needs to embrace that. And it's doing it very well with its net zero carbon policies and other, uh, other things as well. But zero petroleum is certainly one of the ways forward into the future. So I thought I'd give Paddy a ring, having just read that he's, he's just broke, he just got into the Guinness Book of Records, or his product has, by doing uh, a flight, uh, a first flight of an aircraft with z his zero petroleum product. So time to talk to Paddy and see what's going on. The, the word at the moment is like decarbonize, you know, carbon free. Um, which is sort of ironic because it, you know it's giving carbon this really bad name, um, and yet we, as biological life forms, you know carbon is the core element. You know we're carbon life forms, um, and we do all this ourselves. We burn fuels, which are effectively in the same category as gasoline, hydrocarbons. So you know carbohydrates, olive oil, <laughs> wheat, whatever you want it. They're all hydrocarbons we burn those we make water and carbon dioxide and then the plants recycle those from the atmosphere to make those fuels for us again so what we're doing in our synthetic synthetic fuel process is we're doing exactly that same thing so we're we're reusing the carbon um, so carbon is actually a terrific element and you know, we prefer to use the term defossilization as what needs to be done to stop global warming. And uh, so very excited at the fact that we've broken this, well, not broke, we've created a new Guinness World Record uh, and, and claimed it. Um, and that can never be beaten because we were the first. Um, so great support we had from the RAF in that project. It's like the fuel that we all know as petrol or gasoline. It's the same set of chemicals. It is the same thing. It just didn't come from fossil fuel. It wasn't dug out of the ground. It's completely man-made. May or may not know, when you burn gasoline, you make water, what comes out of the exhaust pipe is water, steam. And that's why there's a lot of steam, you know, cold engine in the morning, all that, what you might call smoke, it's not, it's steam. It's just when the engine gets hot, it becomes invisible um, because it gets hot and then co2 and co2 we know is the problem for global warming and the more of this fossil carbon we dig out of the ground and we put it in the atmosphere that's the problem imagine if you reverse that so you make your fuel from those exact uh, products that are coming out of the exhaust pipe so i'm going to take the same water steam out of the atmosphere i'm going to take the same co2 out of the atmosphere add in energy rather than receive it, because that's the point. As long as that energy is renewable, so it comes from, um, you know, solar or wind, or actually in our case, it came from tide, um, then you have a fully renewable circular process. Mm -hmm. We um, ran a five month project to, we built a small production plant uh, and then ran the plant um, and made fuel for this aeroplane. Uh, so it was an aviation gasoline and it's what's called drop-in. So we didn't have to change the plane whatsoever, no retuning at all. We just put the fuel, you know, emptied all the fuel from, that was in and put the new fuel in and fired it up. Uh, we flew it from Kemble. Uh, so say we 
one of the top RAF test pilots flew it. So it's a proper, properly um, conducted uh, test flight. So the next step then is going to be to run it in a Formula One car, right? Well, one day, yeah. you know, it is the future of um, high energy motoring. And, you know, there's no higher energy motoring than, the, you know, the top series of motorsport, um, whatever that might be. When you come to see motorsport, you actually come to watch uh, energy uh, on display. <laughs> That's one analysis that I give it. Um, and you only will really get that from the dense energy stores that we use today, which is, you know, gasoline. Um, and you know diesel jet fuel they're, they're very similar um, the problem is just where do you get the gasoline and we need if we make it from in a circular process then it's all cool so uh, we will see these fuels in motorsport uh, and that way maintain the, the, the you know the exciting spectacle that we've enjoyed for many years and we can do so for many many more years to come